Imagine walking through a garden drenched in the morning mist, where every flower petal catches the dew, reflecting the first light of dawn like tiny, delicate jewels. Amidst this ethereal setting, one plant stands out, a lush, vibrant cluster of hydrangeas, with their rich hues ranging from the deepest blues to the most delicate pinks. These flowers, with their seemingly effortless beauty, have long been the crown jewels of gardens across the world. But what if I told you that behind their captivating allure lies a wealth of secrets waiting to be uncovered? Today, we embark on an enchanting journey to unravel everything you need to know about growing hydrangeas in your garden. From understanding their unique characteristics to mastering the art of their care, this guide will transform you into a hydrangea whisperer, capable of coaxing the most breathtaking blooms from these iconic plants. The timeless appeal of hydrangeas hydrangeas have captivated gardeners for centuries, their appeal rooted in their extraordinary ability to transform any garden into a vibrant, living canvas. These perennial plants, belonging to the family Hydrangeaceae, are celebrated for their large, showy flower heads that come in a variety of shapes and colors. But what makes hydrangeas truly special is their versatility. Whether you're cultivating a classic English cottage garden, a modern minimalist landscape, or a woodland retreat, there's a hydrangea variety that will perfectly complement your aesthetic. The allure of hydrangeas is not just skin deep. These plants are remarkably adaptable, capable of thriving in a range of conditions. They can be grown in almost any soil, and their love for shade makes them ideal for gardens where other sun-loving plants might struggle. In addition, certain types of hydrangeas can also handle sunnier spots, making them one of the most flexible additions to any garden. But before we delve into the specifics of planting and care, it's essential to understand the different types of hydrangeas and how the unique characteristics can enhance your garden. The four main types of hydrangeas hydrangeas are a diverse group of plants, and understanding the different types is crucial to growing them successfully. There are four main types of hydrangeas that you are likely to encounter, hydrangea macrophylla, bigleaf hydrangea, hydrangea arborescens, smooth hydrangea, hydrangea paniculata, panicle hydrangea, and hydrangea quercifolia, oakleaf hydrangea. Each of these has its own unique characteristics, growing requirements, and pruning needs. 1. Hydrangea macrophylla, bigleaf hydrangea, Hydrangea macrophylla is perhaps the most well-known and widely cultivated type. It is further divided into two subtypes, mopheads and lace caps. Mopheads, with their large, round flower heads, are the quintessential hydrangeas that most people picture. Lace caps, on the other hand, have a more delicate appearance, with a central cluster of tiny, fertile flowers surrounded by larger, sterile florets. These hydrangeas are known for their ability to change color depending on the pH of the soil. Acidic soils produce blue flowers, while alkaline soils yield pink blooms. Hydrangea macrophylla is ideal for shaded or partially shaded areas, where it can grow to its full potential without the risk of its flowers scorching in the summer sun. 2. Hydrangea arborescens, smooth hydrangea, native to the United States, Hydrangea arborescens, or smooth hydrangea, is known for its large, rounded flower clusters that are typically white but can sometimes be found in shades of pink. One of the most popular varieties of this type is, Annabelle, which produces enormous, snowball-like blooms that are incredibly showy. Smooth hydrangeas are hardy and can tolerate more sun than hydrangea macrophylla, making them a versatile choice for a variety of garden settings. They are also relatively easy to prune, as they bloom on new wood, meaning they can be cut back hard in late winter or early spring without affecting their flower production. 3. Hydrangea paniculata, panicle hydrangea, hydrangea paniculata is distinguished by its conical flower heads, which are often much larger than those of other hydrangea types. These flowers start out white and gradually turn pink or even red as they age, adding a dynamic range of colors to the garden throughout the growing season. Panicle hydrangeas are incredibly hardy and can thrive in full sun, 
making them an excellent choice for gardens with more exposure. They also bloom on new wood, which means they can be pruned hard in early spring to control their size and shape. 4. Hydrangea quercifolia, oak leaf hydrangea, named for their distinctive, oak-like leaves, hydrangea quercifolia adds a unique texture to the garden. The leaves are not only interestingly shaped but also provide spectacular autumn color, turning shades of red, orange, and purple as the weather cools. The flowers of oak leaf hydrangeas are typically cone-shaped and start out white before fading to pink or red. These hydrangeas are more drought-tolerant than other types and can thrive in challenging conditions, making them a great choice for gardeners looking to add a touch of resilience to their landscape. Choosing the right hydrangea for your garden with so many different types of hydrangeas to choose from, selecting the right one for your garden can seem daunting. However, by considering a few key factors, you can narrow down your options and find the perfect hydrangea to suit your needs. 1. Climate and hardiness. The first thing to consider when choosing a hydrangea is your local climate. While most hydrangeas are hardy in a range of conditions, some types are better suited to certain climates than others. For example, hydrangea paniculata and hydrangea arborescens are more cold hardy and can thrive in regions with harsh winters, while hydrangea macrophylla may require some protection in colder climates to prevent bud damage. 2. Sun exposure. The amount of sun your garden receives is another important factor to consider. While most hydrangeas prefer some shade, the amount of sun they can tolerate varies by type. Hydrangea macrophylla and hydrangea quercifolia prefer partial shade, especially in the afternoon when the sun is strongest. In contrast, hydrangea paniculata and hydrangea arborescens can handle more sun and may even require full sun to produce their best blooms. 3. Soil type and pH. Hydrangeas are known for their ability to change color based on the pH of the soil, but this only applies to certain types, such as hydrangea macrophylla. If you're looking to grow hydrangeas with blue flowers, you'll need to ensure your soil is acidic, with a pH of around 5.5 or lower. If your soil is more alkaline, you'll get pink flowers instead. If you're not concerned about flower color, then hydrangea arborescens and hydrangea paniculata are good choices, as they will bloom consistently regardless of soil pH. 4. Size and space. Hydrangeas come in a range of sizes, from compact varieties that are perfect for small gardens and containers to larger types that can dominate a landscape. Before choosing a hydrangea, consider the amount of space you have available and how large you want your plant to grow. Hydrangea macrophylla and hydrangea quercifolia tend to be on the larger side, while hydrangea arborescens and hydrangea paniculata include both large and more compact varieties. Chapter 4. Planting hydrangeas Once you've selected the perfect hydrangea for your garden, the next step is to plant it. While hydrangeas are relatively easy to grow, getting them off to a good start is crucial for their long-term health and success. 1. Choosing the right location. The first step in planting your hydrangea is choosing the right location. As we've discussed, different types of hydrangeas have different light requirements, so be sure to select a spot that matches your plant's needs. For example, if you're planting a hydrangea macrophylla, choose a location with morning sun and afternoon shade. If you're planting a hydrangea paniculata, look for a spot with full sun or light shade. 2. Preparing the soil. Hydrangeas prefer well-drained, fertile soil that is rich in organic matter. Before planting, prepare the soil by adding compost or well-rotted manure to improve its texture and fertility. If you're planting hydrangea macrophylla and want to control its flower color, you may also need to adjust the soil pH. For blue flowers, add sulfur or aluminum sulfate to acidify the soil. For pink flowers, add lime to raise the pH. 3. Planting the hydrangea. When planting your hydrangea, dig a hole that is twice as wide and just as deep as the root ball. Place the plant in the hole, making sure the top of the root ball is level with the surrounding soil. Backfill the hole with soil, 
firming it gently around the plant to eliminate air pockets. Water the hydrangea thoroughly after planting to help it settle in. 4. Mulching. After planting, apply a layer of mulch around the base of the hydrangea to help retain moisture and suppress weeds. Organic mulches, such as bark chips or compost, are ideal, as they will break down over time and add nutrients to the soil. Hydrangea care and maintenance caring for hydrangeas is relatively straightforward, but there are a few key practices that will help ensure your plants thrive.